In this video, I'm going to give you a couple quick tips for using Papra Workspace. When I've made my workspace, I want to make sure that any of the documents that I'm including in my cards, I own. So if I hover over top of this one, I can see that I am the owner of this document. This will ensure that my students have access all the time and I don't need to worry about them disappearing. So if I got an assignment that's excellent and I it was shared with me from a colleague, I'm going to click on that assignment. I'm going to go to File, Make a Copy, and I'm going to change the title of that just to get rid of the copy part. And I'm going to save that into um, my Google Drive or another place in my drive where I'd like it to be. So I'm gonna hit select and click OK. This is now my copy of the activity and I don't need to worry about the original owner of the document changing anything or deleting anything because this is the way I'd like to use it. So I can go to my workspace, I can create my card, I can click on the Google Drive icon, and I'm gonna just search by title. And I'm going to make sure I select the one that I own. So even though Stephanie Pearson made this wonderful activity and it's really, really good, I wanna make sure I'm giving my students a copy that I own. I'm gonna hit select. And now my card is ready to go. When I hover over top of the card, I can see that I am the owner and I don't need to worry about things disappearing for my students. Another great tip is if you're including a Google Forms quiz in your workspace. It's really important that you are not just adding this Forms quiz by clicking on the Google Drive icon. If you do that, the students will be able to edit your quiz and see all of the answers. So what I'm going to do instead, inside my quiz, I'm going to hit send. I'm going to click on the paperclip and I'm going to copy this link. I'm then going to return to my workspace, click on the link button, and paste my link. This is your quiz. I'm gonna give it a title, maybe some instructions, and now my students will be able to access that link. When they look at this workspace, this is what they'll see. So I can see that this is the forms quiz. And if I hit that start button, it should open up that quiz and let them get started as a separate link.